evening. Of Hailstones, rain and wind whipping our viewing area tonight. A situation that could take a turn for the worse at any moment. Good evening, I'm Midge Hill. We begin the update with Jim Littleton and the latest on tonight's storm. Jim? Midge, what we have is one of those situations where anything can happen, and it just about has tonight. So far, no reports of tornadoes. The severe thunderstorm warnings that were in effect for Tarrant and Dallas counties have expired as of 10 o'clock. Severe thunderstorm warnings have been posted, though, for the southern portions of Collin County, Rockwall County, Kaufman County, and now Ellis County. And this is the latest radar image from the Corsicana Remoted Radar site. And you can see right along the Dallas-Ellis County line just to the southeast of Cedar Hill. Very, very heavy thunderstorm drifting just about due east, has po potentially heavy rains, hail, high winds, and of course quite a bit of lightning. This other storm area is now into Kaufman County, the area uh, just uh, along and north of Interstate 20, and yet one other thunderstorm to the north of Rockwall, just on the rockwall Collin County line. Each of these red areas, places where hail is very likely falling at this time, we've had reports of 70 mile an hour wind gusts, wind damage in Carrollton along LBJ near Jupiter Road and Garland, golf ball size hail at Mansfield, Burleson, and there is one other danger I've got to mention at the top of the newscast, flash flooding. All the counties in the immediate Dallas-Fort Worth area flash flood conditions are in progress and a lot of stranded motorists out there don't be out traveling if you don't absolutely have to. We'll totally update the weather and have more in just about 10 minutes later in the newscast, Midge. Okay, thank you, Jim. And a weather-related fire in the... Well, for Dallas and Tarrant County, yes, I think the worst for us just about over except for far southern Dallas County, but you folks that live to the east and down south, there's more rain on the way and an update there is now a severe thunderstorm warning for dallas county especially southern sections and that it continues until 10 30. i'll be back we'll take a look at all this next well around the dallas fort worth area tonight a lot of rain from some of our weather team members tim Vasquez and garland had 3.5 inches there and clocked a 70 mile an hour wind gust over two and a half inches at cleburne 2.2 inches at duncanville Lance Johnson checked in from Carrollton with three and a quarter inches. They've had some flash flooding up in that area. Two and a half inches from Chad Barfnick. He's our weather team member in Highland Village. That's north of Louisville. And about an inch in portions of Arlington and Cassidy call from southwest Fort Worth with an inch. So a lot of rain around the area and we've got another chance for rain tomorrow. But I want to look at what's going on tonight first. And here is the radar from Stephenville. Heaviest thunderstorms have moved past downtown Dallas now. We will come back to that in a moment. But I want you to see the line stretches now back south, just out to the west of Hillsboro, where new thunderstorms have formed, to San Angelo, and all the way back southwest of San Angelo. This is more or less a line of thunderstorms that may continue into the night and be the setup for more thunderstorms tomorrow. Now, the Corsicana remote radar site shows us the heaviest thunderstorms in Dallas County. By the way, there is a severe thunderstorm warning till 10.30 for Dallas County. Heaviest thunderstorms now just from about the DeSoto area over through Lancaster and near Interstate 45. Uh, other thunder showers just now moving south of the downtown area and one pretty good little shower up in Highland Park and just across Central that would be oh probably the area around Central and Mockingbird. Then very very heavy thunderstorms continue in Rockwall County to the northeast of Rockwall in Kaufman County now oh say 10 or 15 miles east of Forney along Interstate 20. This line of thunderstorms moving to the east and there are severe thunderstorm warnings for uh, Rockwall, Kaufman and Ellis counties and those continue until 10.30 as well. The Texas satellite goes back to about 6 o'clock tonight. It will roll and we will see the motion of the clouds from the southwest toward the northeast. This band of heavy thunderstorms, the one that's caused all the problem for us tonight. But I want you to see out west there is more thunderstorm activity. It will come across and yet another wave to come across. So we are far from out of the woods as far as the potential for severe weather. Probably not more tonight, but again tomorrow I think we do have a good chance. Put the fronts and what have you in on the map. And as we do, you see a stationary front right through our area. The thunderstorms have been forming along this boundary line and then moving up to the northeast. It will go near stationary and even retreat a little to the northwest during the day tomorrow. And that's where we think the better chance for thunderstorms will come. Temperatures at 10 o'clock look like this. 66 Dallas, Fort Worth, 74 in San Antonio, 51 up in Amarillo, 58 in Oklahoma City. It has been quite cool during the day in the panhandle. And part of the problem with the thunderstorms is the temperature contrast across that front. 66 degrees out now, 93% humidity, barometer falling, went northeast at 16. Yes, we've had rain, and as we've mentioned, two or three inches in some areas. High was 83 today, low was 70, normally 70 and 58, and there are the records. 
7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I've indicated a low of 68. Now, it may be a little cooler than that because of the rain we've had tonight and showers mainly out to the west by morning. By noon tomorrow, though, look for those thunderstorms to be on the increase by 5 o'clock, form up in a fairly solid line out to the west, and some of those could be severe as they move through the Dallas-Fort Worth area during the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. On Monday, most of the rain to the east, but we'll keep a chance for showers here. Thunderstorms tonight, tomorrow, and Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, they'll look better with partly sunny skies, temperatures in the 70s, and back up near 80 degrees. Still some severe thunderstorms in the area, and we'll continue to keep an eye on them. Mitch. Okay.